For the last presidential debate, I bar hopped around Capitol Hill to see what was going on at some of the top staffer spots. Our first stop was at Barrel on Pennsylvania Avenue, where the basement turned into a Trump headquarters bar. The bar was serving special edition cocktails named after different quotes from Donald Trump throughout this campaign season. Right now, there's like this avalanche of like insane quotes coming from the most sort of like viewed person in the country right now. So you're like, a lot of it's pretty absurd. So let's just make something really over the top and, and crazy. Today we're going to be making the quote, I was the one who really broke the glass ceiling for women. I would much rather somebody who's like pro-Trump come down and get mad and leave than somebody who reads the menu and is like, oh, you're making light of sort of real issues. I want them to be really clear that we are not doing that. Uh, lemon wheel. And an American flag. And that's it. Our next stop was Capitol Lounge, a few doors down, where there were Trump and Clinton impersonators greeting the bar attendees. So, are you going to show us your uh, tax returns tonight, Trump? Are you going to show me your emails, Hillary? We got a few fresh ones from WikiLeaks. I think the Russians have pretty much stolen all my emails. Yeah, there you go. Blame it on the Russians. I then bounced over to the Senate side of the Capitol to check out 201 Bar and Union Pub. At all four of the bars, people were generally mocking and laughing at what Donald Trump was saying, and a large majority of people were supporting much of what Clinton was saying. Meanwhile, senior Senate reporter Niels Lesniewski was on the ground in Las Vegas for the debate. He ran into retiring Senator Harry Reid and asked him some questions, including his thoughts on the Washington Nationals. Let's FaceTime in Niels to see what he found out. He said the Nationals need a new center fielder, that Trey Turner, who's been playing out there after being called up, has no arm. And he also said that he's going to be rooting in the World Series for the Cleveland Indians. He rattled off the starting lineup of the team in the late 1940s and early 1950s. As for the Nationals, he did say that he, he likes Dusty Baker as the manager, and there are some other changes that he might need to see, uh, but he thinks Dusty knows what to do. Nasty seemed to be a hot word this week when Donald Trump called Hillary Clinton it during the debate, and then Nancy Pelosi came out in favor of Clinton and said she's a hashtag nasty woman as well. Before the debate, the NRCC used the word when they put out nasty cooking videos on Facebook to parody the tasty videos you see on your newsfeed. Their videos poked fun at Democrats running for Congress when they showed how to make food that looked pretty gross. And basketball star Kareem Abdul-Jabbar came to D.C. to speak at the National Press Club about race relations, the election, and to remind everyone that Donald Trump is who the Republicans chose. I'm Alex Gangitano, and that's what I heard on The Hill this week.